begins with BART security cameras breaking one of the biggest cases yet. Images led police to Sunday's stabbing suspect. Good evening, I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. The man accused in the deadly stabbing on BART made his first court appearance today. 27-year-old John Lee Cowell has been charged with murder and attempted murder in the killing of 18-year-old Nia Wilson. KPI X5 Susie Steimel is covering that part of the story, but first, Phil Mateer got an exclusive up close look at those BART security cameras and the system. Phil? That's right, Alan. It's interesting to note that one of the key players in breaking this case is right over your shoulder when you ride BART. Just about everywhere you look at a BART station, you'll see a camera. And while the system's 4,000 electronic eyes couldn't prevent the killing of 18-year-old Nia Wilson by a knife-wielding attacker, they were key to the suspect arrest. This is the camera right here that caught the, the stabbing as they were standing outside of that train car door. The same camera captured the first image of suspected killer John Lee Cowell. But that was just the start. We follow him down the stairs, down out across the construction area here. And this here, camera in a nearby garage caught Cowell as he was changing his clothes, side. leading to a search of the area that found an ID that he had dropped. Police then used the ID to track down this photo taken of Cowell by a police body camera when he was sighted just days earlier for fair evasion. The photos were made public Monday along with an earlier mug shot and he was recognized by riders who called into this dispatch center and helped police clock him that afternoon as he rode BART again. From the Coliseum station in East Oakland, then switched trains at either 12th, 19th or at the scene of the crime MacArthur station onto an Antioch bound train and he was picked up on that train when it was stopped at Pleasant Hill. It's all evidence now. Yes, it is. Cameras were also used to track this suspect in another possible homicide last week, from the Bayfair station where it occurred to an AC transit bus where these photos were taken. We've got cameras right here, and there's multiple on each car. Now, a year ago, three out of four of these cameras weren't working. They were dummies. What some changed? of them were dummies and some of them weren't. And then what happened was we had a passenger that was shot on board a train, and Bart stepped up and said, we need to replace all these decoys. We need working cameras in every car. And now Bart is asking for even more cameras. Last week, with the help of Congressman Eric Swalwell, they put in a request for $11 million more for cameras and other security upgrades along the Bart line. So, when you're looking out, remember, somebody's looking at you, too. Bart Embarcadero, Phil Mateer, back to you guys.